Hello, Linda here from Bar Lady's Body Blitz with a little mini on her scratch post. Today we are doing another 10 minute tome. It's going to be a glutes and thigh workout, elevating on a step bench if you have it or something else. If you don't have anything, just do it on the mat. You could add some light ankle weights if you wanted to, but I'm doing mine without any added equipment. I've got a mat on mine just so that my knees are not too sore. It's going to be in an all fours position. So if you tend to have issues with your wrists, you might need to work around that by maybe going on your elbows for some of the exercises. So we're gonna get started straight away. I want you to come onto your bench, put your hands in front, roll your shoulders down and back and push out of your shoulder blades. Make sure you've got a bit of space there, so put your knees towards the back. And we're going to bring our leg forward as if we're about to do a runner's lunge. And from here, we're going to go up for two and come back in line. Up for two and come back in line. Now, if you want to push back slightly and then forward, you can push your body back slightly and then forward. If you don't want to do that, you just stay here and use your core to really keep you in place. So it's up to you what you prefer. This is quite nice because it feels almost like a stretch and forward. Kick for two, forward. So I'm turning my hip up, kick for two, forward. Let's go for four and three and two and one. Now we're going to bring our foot back diagonal with that pointed toe. We're going to come up to the side, one tap and sweep it back diagonal. It's a big arc, one tap, sweep it back in line. Around, one tap, sweep it back in line. Try to keep your chest and your shoulders facing the mat or the step. Don't turn it out to look at me. I'll tell you when we're changing again. Big sweep, one tap, and back in line. Sweep, tap, and in line. How about four more of these? And three, and two, and last one. Now from here, you're on an angle slightly out. We're gonna bring the knee in, in front, push up, in, and tap down. It's in, push up to the corner, in and tap down. So you are internally rotating here, bringing that knee in towards the center line, diagonally out to the side, tap and straighten. In, out, in, out. Keep pushing out of those shoulders. You don't want to be slouching here. Bracing your core for more like this. Out, in, and out. And it's three. And it's two. Last one. And from here, we're going to bring our leg directly in line with the hip, with the knee facing this way. And we're gonna go one straight, one bend in. So out, straight, up and in. Out, straight, up and in. It's hard. If you wanted to, you could come down on the back elbow here and slightly face your chest forward. That's gonna make it quite a bit easier. Out. Straight, up and in. Let's just go four. It's a tough one. Up and in, and three. Up and in, two. And last one. So all those exercises, you would have definitely felt the side body here a lot as well. So we're just gonna do that to the other side now. So get back on. And we're going to start with that leg in front. And from here, turn out, kick, kick. Step forward, kick, kick. The first few reps, you're going to need to find your positioning on that step. Just keep adjusting until you feel stable. Kick, kick. Step forward, 
You're either shifting your body or you're keeping it really in line like this without shifting. Kick, kick, forward. Kick, kick, really high kick. Let's go for four. And three. And two. And last one. Nice job. So we're going to come from here, a big sweep, up and down and back in line. A big sweep, up and down, and drag your toe back in line. And when I say back in line, you're still slightly turned out from that hip, and you're coming to the corner of the step or slightly in front of it. Back in line. Big circle. And if you cannot come all the way to this 90 degree angle, then just do it smaller. I should have told you that on the other side. Just do it back here. Up, down, back in line. Just a little one. Up, down, back in line. Let's go for three. Up, down, back in line. Two. Down, back in line. Last one. Up, down back in line. Okay, now stay with that straight leg. We're going to bring the knee in front, turning out, turning in, sorry, then turn out, extend, in and tap. It's in and it's out and it's in and it's tap. Now, if you need to, then come down on that back elbow. It definitely makes a big difference. And tap. In, extend, to that corner. Try to keep your chest and your shoulders towards the mat. I know it's tough. This is so much work for the core as well. In, extend and in, and out. Four more, in, extend and in, and out. This is three. Extend and in, and out. Last time, extend and in, and out. Now, can you come to the side here? Deep breath in. We're going to do one tap. It's in and out, down and up. In and out, tap and up. I'm turning my fists under now because it's kind of starting to hurt my wrists a little bit. This is your option. This is so much easier down here. Down and up or get off the step and do it on the mat because this is the hardest one. If you're staying out to the side, good job. Otherwise, maybe go further back here. That's your option as well. In and out, down and up. Three, and tap. Two, and tap. Last one, and tap. Oh my goodness. That was definitely quite painful, people, quite painful. Now we're just gonna finish off doing both sides at the same time. So come back into that position, straighten around and back and in. Other side, straighten around, back and in. Straighten around, back and in. Back and in. Make it as big as you can. I've got this ball here that I'm clearing. What are you clearing? Pretend there's a small child standing there and you're trying to clear over the top of their head. Around, back in, in. How about four? And in, three. And in, two. Push out of your shoulder blades. Last one. Staying on one side. This is it. Arm and leg extend, in and out, in and out. Four more this side. Four, three, two, one. Other side for eight. Extend, in and out, in and out. Go for four, three, two, and one. And now come down on your belly on the step. Scoot towards the back so that you can touch your knees down. Do whatever you want with your arms. We're gonna bend our leg and we're gonna come up and up and we're tapping our knees down. Up and up. 
Maybe you want your arms down on the mat. Keep your neck in nice alignment with your spine. Just keep poking up and up. If you want it, we're gonna hold onto the step for dear life and finish by bringing both legs up from the floor. Are you ready? Go for four, three, two, one. Hold on and both legs up. Tap and up. So my legs are wider than the step. Up and up. Push to the ceiling, push to the ceiling. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold it up, tiny little alternating. Push, push, push to the ceiling. Tiny, tiny, tiny. Alternating pokes to the ceiling. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Amazing job. Okay, let's use the step a little bit here to stretch. So just bring it in front of you. You can lose your mat. Put your arms on there and just push your armpits towards the mat. Deep breath. Definitely felt my upper body engaging the entire time as well. Now let's do a nice side stretch in a pretzel kind of position. And then can you bring your leg across? Try to put both butt cheeks on the mat and just hug that knee in. Deep breath. So you can see elevating a little bit makes a big difference. And if you were to add in some equipment like either ankle weights or a resistance tube loop above the knees, for example, let's just stretch and stretch then that will also add an extra layer. So you can really make these workouts your own by adding in some equipment, bring this knee across and hug it in, and elevating. And you can definitely do this with any of my other workouts that are just on the mat. Elevate it, see how it feels. It might target the muscles in just that slightly different way that will keep giving you results. You've got to keep trying new things. If you keep doing the same old thing over and over, your body gets used to it very quickly. That is it. Thank you so much for joining me for another 10 minute tone. I hope you enjoyed the burn and I will see you again very soon. Bye for now.